Good thing there's a breeze, man, as hot as it is. All right, man. Nice bright yellow cat. Well, today we're getting out, do a little more channel cat fishing on a big creek. I'm out with Mike today. It's been a while since he's been out fishing with me. I got nine last week, and hopefully I can get him into a few decent ones. All right, Mike. Show us, show everybody what we're using here. All right, just a slip float with a chicken liver, a couple split shots. Chicken liver said under a slip float, a couple split shots. 20 pound fluorocarbon and 30 pound braid. Cast it out, let it drift in the current. First spot we're, we're gonna try today is right here, up against a cut bank, a little deeper area, probably about eight foot. All right, we'll get back to you, we get any bites. All right, here's what we're using for bait. Some nice, fresh tied liver sacks. Now, so far, first spot here up against the bank isn't producing. No bites yet. Mike, your bobber's one under. It's under. Do it, do it, do it. It's running. Got him? Oh, yeah. Dude, we got that bite on film, man. I was just saying, so far, no bites, huh? A little, little fast cat or what? Oh, yeah. So I, I just hit the camera and say, no bites, man. Oh, that's a decent one. Channel cat. Good, I got that bite on film, I think. Water's a little murky down here. We crossed up upstream out of throughway and it was green. Down here it's pretty brown, man. Maybe about three inches of visibility, but all right, that's a decent cat, Mike. Get him, get him. <laughs> all right, he's got first channel cat of the day. Decent one, huh? Oh yeah. No skunking for Mike. All right. Long time since Mike got a cat. Not a monster, but a decent cat. All right. Channel catfish, see ya. See ya. So far, only one one bite and one cat at this first spot. And we're gonna pull up the anchor and move up, up the creek a little. Head up, check out the next spot. All right, we just stopped at the second spot. I was just getting rigged up. Mike dropped one rod in, and immediately he said, where's my bobber? <laughs> and a fish. He's got a fish already. Feels like a pretty good one. Does it? Better than the last one, at least. Channel catfish. So that's a nice one, huh? Get that exciting. See, get a look at him here. He's coming up. See it or not. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice yellow cat. All right, man. Mike's got two on the board. I ain't got none yet. I ain't had a bite. Yeah, he did put up a good fight. Thought he was a 10 pounder, huh? Yeah. Usually when they get bigger, they don't stay that yellow color. It's just kind of cool looking cat. Yeah, that's cool looking, man. It's real bright yellow. Super bright yellow. Alright. Alright, man. Nice bright yellow cat. It's gotta be at least five pounds, huh? See ya. Right. See ya. There he goes. Alright, man. Alright, man. I ain't even get in the water yet. Well, so far. We're at the third spot and only two bites, two fish. Mike got them both, nothing for me yet. I wanna see one of my bobbers go down. Well, we fished five or six spots so far. Mike's got the only two bites, only two fish. I ain't had a bite yet today. Maybe we'll head upstream, huh? I gotta figure it out, see what's going on up there. Yeah, I never really fished. I fished one time up above this second bridge. Usually we fish between the bridges down to the island, but maybe we'll Pull up the anchor and head up there, see what's what, man. All right, man. I'll give up that easy. Let's head up. Got to keep working. I got to get one. Can't get no scout All right, we're up working. What, seventh or eighth spot today? Only two bites so far. Fish up by them snags, huh? Yeah. So far, only two bites. Mike's got the only two fish. We're going to keep working up. Working it up. Up the creek until I get one. I can't get skunked, man. Yeah, we gotta get you one, man. All right, keep working it, man. Now we moved up above the second bridge, second train, 
train bridge and a dude that's a big that's a nice one dude that's a nice one you don't know he's hooked yet dude he didn't even start fighting yet look at him dude you're underneath it you got to go out and up dude that's a nice one that's a nice one mike Oh, that's a big one, dude. He didn't even know he's hooked yet. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Might be able to get him without him even knowing it. <laughs> he didn't fight much, man. If you get him, yeah. <laughs> dude, he didn't even know he was hooked, man. That's a, <laughs> that's a good catfish there. That's a big one, man. What do you got there? 15.8. 15.8, so 15.8, so that's probably about 14, 14 and a half pound cat, that, that's a light aluminum, that's probably about a pound, that old net we used to add was only 12 ounces, let's get a look, 15 and a half pounder, oh yeah, do a little see, right, right. turn sideways, <laughs> he got me. He got you. I guess that's a payback for him not putting up much of a fight. He didn't know he was hooked, man. Let's take him out here. All right. That's the catfish. All right. All right, man. That's how you do it. Nice one. Yeah. All right. About 14 and a half pounder, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm still working the skunk. <laughs> get you one, man. Yeah. We're going to try to get me one. You got one on, but he's on a log. Dude, he's on a log. Uh, get me closer. Oh, man. Get me closer. Oh, man. Finally had my fi first fish of the day. It was a big monster, and it burrowed right down into a snag. Nothing I could do about it. Well, Mike missed another bite up front. He's going to let me take a few casts, see if I can get one. Got a fresh lever on. Right up there. Keep it rolling, Mike. See if I get it on the film. I just hooked the monster, Mike missed a head, so there's got to be at least another cat, at least, at least one more. Yeah. Got a second chance, man. Second chance, just lost that monster in a snag. Oh, that's a big fish. Get that camera out of the net. He's got a good one on there. Oh man, that's a strong fish. Let me know if he's coming towards the anchor. I'll try to get it up. You're good, you're good. Alright. Should I put the brakes on? Let's see. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, dude, 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 this is a monster. You gotta get that one, man. Try to put maximum force on I might lose it, but there's a lot of snags down here. Get a look at him? No. He's digging deep. He don't want to come up. He's going to make you earn it. Nice size boil. That looks like a strong cat, man. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice brown colored catfish. It's got to be a big female. Big spawn out female. Let's see if I can get the net for you if he comes up. Right, man. Internet. All right. It was it was getting close to a skunk. I just lost an absolute monster just five minutes before this got hung up in the in the logs. That's a nice big one, but it's not nowhere near as big as that big jumbo. This one here has got to be that be ten pounds at least. Twelve point five ounces, which means it's eleven and a half pounder. Nice catfish. Eleven and a half pound. I just lost one that had to be well over twenty. Well over 20, Mike. You seen the way that thing went down, man. 11. What I say, 11 and a half pound female, huh? Yeah. Spun around so we get the camera in the back. We don't get the glare. They yeah. Get a couple different shots. Don't get the sun in the background. I'll tell you, man. After last week, I got a 16 pounder. I got nine. I could have had 12. Bunch of bites. Look at that. Nice catfish. Big female, huh? Look at shoulders on her. 
Got her on her good? Oh yeah. Alright, ready? Let me get her, let her get her breath. Look at that. Oh, she ready. No skunking, man. All right. It's getting close, man. I was getting nervous. Oh, man, it feels good. I'll tell you what, five minutes before that, I had an absolute monster I couldn't control. The fish took me down into a log. So I said, no matter what with that fish, that fish was fighting strong. No matter with that one, I'm putting the brakes on, whether I bend the hook or break the line. I couldn't let it get in the snags. I had to get one for the day. Well, nine last week. Probably could have had 13, 12 or 13. And that's my first fish landed this week, and we've been at it for like at least four hours. <sighs> All right, man, let's get back to it. Man, what a relief. Finally get a fish after losing that big one. It wasn't looking good. Only had two bites all day. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the heat wave because last couple of days we've been under a heat advisory. No skunking at least. We both got at least one nice one. That looks like a nice fishy cut bank. Yeah. There's got to be one sitting there. Oh, we'll just drift along, work our way back. Drift along with the current. We won't drop the anchor. We'll just drift along. Bobbers drift alongside of us. I'll do a little bolt control. Let's see if one of these bobbers go down. Fish He's on. Drifting along the shoreline here, along the cut bait. Hey man, as bad as the fish has been today, I'll take it. That's a decent one, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh he got me wet, man. <laughs> Whoa. Third, third bite today. We're drifting along. Mike was just saying, man, this, this area looks fishy. We didn't try this spot yet, further up. Come on over here. Yep, That's just, a decent one. Just riding the current down, drifting along the cut bank. Let's Pick one up. up. Go back up and ride the current again. All right, man. <sighs> He's tilting his tail up. <laughs> He's want. trying to look smaller. <laughs> He's trying to look smaller. That way. No, that way. <laughs> All right, there. <laughs> That's a decent channel, huh? Oh, yeah. It's gotta be four or five pounds, man. At least four. No? It's got some weight to it, man. Alright. See ya. Alright, man. Landed two. Mike's got three. And it, and it was looking for like a skunk for me today. <sighs> nice to get in the shade. It feels a little cooler, man. It's so hot this weekend. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's a heat wave across the country. Heat advisories everywhere. Paid off. I'm like, Coming up above the next bridge. Yeah. yeah, nice fishy looking area here on the outside bend. Always fish the outside bends. That's where the deeper current is and the cut banks are. You fish on that side, you're fishing knee deep water. Work our way back down. A little trust will try some of our good spots that we didn't get no bites. Maybe we'll get some bites now. The wind calm down. It's not as hot. The sun's going down a little. Give it a shot, man. All right, Mike's in turbo mode. Get us down to that spot, man. He's in turbo mode. Well, I just missed a hit here. It's the first hit at this spot today. We tried earlier nothing, and this is one of the better spots last week. Say so we head to head back, and uh, we'll stop off at the bridge because we didn't work the bridge at all today. Bridge used to be a good spot. It gets pounded, but it can't catch them all, right? Well, I had one bite here. Well, I caught like five or six last week, and they must have moved on somewhere else, but get down there under the bridge. All right, man. We'll try the middle, and then we'll try, a, try the left side after that. Give it a few drifts, and we'll call it. Give me a little closer. I want to fish that ledge. All right, Mike, last drift. We'll get out of here, we'll call it, man. Hopefully next year we get out a little earlier for the pre-spawn, earlier, er, early May, you know? Yeah. We got out kind of late this year with the Lampra side. They only do that every three or four years, I think, so I think we're good for a couple years. So I think next year should be a better year. But we gotta get out a little earlier before the cottonwood flies. Finish that drift, we'll get out of here, man. I 
got two, Mike got three. Nobody got skunk. We had a good time out here. Fishing could have been a little better, but. All right, Mike, head home. Let me know uh, next time you got a weekend off, man. We'll get out, do a little fishing. Maybe we'll try uh, for some bass or, or some other type of fishing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Always something to do here. We got out for a while over the weekend, try a little pond fishing. See if we get us a big bucket mouth bass. Oh, you got a perch. A nice big pond perch, huh? Oh, yeah. Check it out, Mike. Yeah. My grandson, Little Mike, stopped over to check out the fish we were catching. Fishy. Fishy. See that fishy? My niece's got? son, Colin, caught himself a couple got, bass on his second All birthday. Right. What do you got? Wow, Colin, you're a good fish. Hold him up for him, Mike. <laughs> Hold them up for him. Smile. Smile. You got a nice one. Want to put him back in the water? Today's your birthday? Two years old, huh? Catch and release. All right. Good nice job, job man. man. See ya. All right, man. All right. This is what Grandpa going to catch a big one, huh? Michael. <laughs> Or catch a big one. Get it out there, man. See if we get the big mama. All right. Got another one. You running out there? Got him? Better. Better? Fighting. Fighting. Pull, pull some drag, huh? So you got it coming up here. Oh yeah, that's got a weight to it, dude. Oh yeah. Large mouth. Bucket mouth. Alright, man. First decent one, huh? Alright, man. Not bad. Alright, we need to get his big mama. Yeah, we're after the four or five pounders. Yeah. To start, though, better than them little ones we've been getting. Oh yeah. We got. Oh, you got a turtle? Might be. It's not biting like a bass. Let's see. That Could be a big bass. bass. Is it? Is it I don't think a turtle would swim that. Swim that. Hurt. I know. It's not really fighting. Now. It is a turtle. <laughs> you got a turtle, man. You got to grab him. Oh yeah, snapper. Turn, turn, so I can see him. There's Mike's catch. There's Mike's catch. Big nasty. <laughs> he tried to get me, man. <laughs> All right, man. Mike's got the catch of the day so far. <laughs> All right, let's get him off and let him go. Do better than that, man. Come on, fast master. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, do know, better now. I know there's some bass in the four to six pound range in here. We ain't got any yet today. There was a little girl fishing here a few weeks ago. I'm like, she was fishing with a hot dog. Got, got like a five and a half pounder. I got one. What do you got, Mike? 